Hi guys, just wanted to have a little talk to you today about the glowing light effect. Um, but this painting here was done on site in uh, the stunning Reese Valley in the South Island, New Zealand. And uh, what happened here is that uh, the, the mountains are so steep around this valley that you only get about maybe four hours of uh, direct sunlight uh, as it goes over here to the west that the um, the sun dips down behind these mountains in the winter at about oh, maybe three in the afternoon <clears throat> so I wasn't quick enough to actually paint that uh, that sun blasting through the edge of the mountain there but I really wanted to show that in uh, when it came to doing a larger studio painting. I had done a painting a few days before of this glowing light effect in another valley down by Glen Orkey. And that helped me understand, you know, uh, better what was going on in uh, a glowing light situation like that. So basically, everything close to the sun gets lighter and warmer the closer it gets. Now if it, if it was a cool light source everything would obviously get lighter and cooler but because it's the, the sun it's getting lighter and warmer as we get closer to it. That means everything. The shadows, the mid values and the lights. So here's the studio painting that came out of the small plein air painting. So when it comes time to actually paint the glowing light effect here it's uh, you know, it's easier to say than it is actually to do. So why don't I get my paints out now and show you just how I did that little section of the painting. Okay, so I've got a pretty basic palette. Ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, cadmium red medium, cadmium orange, cadmium yellow light, and titanium white. Let's just start off by um, drawing a mountain shape. Let's just block that in with uh, this will this will be the darkest dark in this little demo and I'll lighten that with orange let's see how that looks actually I might add some yellow into that to lighten that again maybe some white too Okay, because this this particular piece of mountain is, you know, it's a couple of kilometers away from me, so you get a fair amount of atmospheric perspective coming into play there. Let's make my glowing effect here, so this mountain is going to get lighter and warmer around here. I'm also applying that a little bit thicker than uh, that first layer something like that. So I basically want a lighter warmer version of that brown in there. And this glowing effect because it's further away there's more atmosphere there. That glowing effect is even stronger than the previous one. So here's my glowing area, my glowing circle. That's So it just gets less and less the further away you get from that area. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. And... Okay. Let's put a little bit of some snow and shadow there. It's just going to be... like that one, but warmer and lighter. Okay, so let's move into the sky and let's see. 
because it's uh, we don't have the whole picture here we've only got a small piece of the sky all of that sky is going to be fairly warm and light so just use warm light colors okay so that's the base and then I'm going to modify those colors so first simplest thing to do is make it warmer and lighter right where the Sun is and that's my circle again so making note of that I better get some more of that Okay, and we can even go warmer and lighter again. More white. So we're really starting to get a, a shimmering, glowing light there now is nice. So what I've got there now is very simplified colors and I could go in and modify uh, these things and start playing with them more like uh, adding uh, cooler, cooler colors on the outside of these areas and uh, also increasing the glow in this area here. So let's, let's do that first. That's that's nice stuff there. could uh, to really enhance this and a little more warmth there and really cut into this edge here Ooh, a bit too much let's see and that work Not too bad So the bit that's closest to the sun there, I've just pushed the saturation a little bit higher than everything else. Some very sharp reflected lights there. Snow there would get cooler as it came over. As it rolls towards us, away from the sun. Now I'm just modifying the sky with a color that's the same value but slightly cooler than what's already there. Now let's say we had a foreground object like a tree. Now the same principle is going to apply. It's going to get lighter and warmer the closer it gets to the sun. So basically it's taking on the color of the light. Okay, so that's basically what happens with a glowing light source. 
Hope you enjoyed that little demo. There's plenty more where that came from at livepaintinglessons.com. Thanks for watching.